friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. Thank you for stopping back by. And if this is your first video of mine and like what you see, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. It is November and it is time to start Christmas crafting. I'm kind of late to the game when I'm scrolling through my YouTube, but nonetheless, it's better late than never. Speaking of scrolling through YouTube, everybody's experience is different. Even on Facebook and Pinterest or any other social media that you participate in. And I'm bringing you today an idea that totally inspired me and I certainly want to give credit where credit is due. There's a channel called She So Craft D. From what I can gather, she is the one that created this Dollar Tree Racetrack Lantern. If you have a crafty YouTube feed, then you've definitely seen this. It's these little two strips of plastic and then you use an, a, one of the eight inch uh, wall decor. So those are the two dollars you'll spend at Dollar Tree and then the rest of the supplies to embellish it is just basically what you have in your stash. But total wise you could definitely make this for less than ten bucks. The ones I've seen have been painted brown or painted white so they can use all year. Well I haven't seen a Christmas version and I wanted to paint mine red so that I can use it for Christmas, for Valentine's, and patriotic times. So let's go to the kitchen and let me show you my take on the racetrack lantern. All right, here are the rest of the supplies that I'm using to finish out my lantern. Now, this was in my stash, but it came from the Dollar Tree, a roll of that diamond wrap. This is strictly optional. I've seen others with some embellishments on the track. All right, now, as far as feet, feet are optional. I'm going to put feet on mine. You could use some wood cubes. I have these little half balls that I'm going to probably use, or you, even if you had a four Easter eggs, you could use the bottom and once it's spray painted. Now, I've seen one with this type of top on it. I've seen a variety of tops made, but I love the look of this one, the little four inch clay saucer that these are like 50 cents at Walmart or Home Improvement. And then some kind of finial. I've seen ping pong balls, extra knob you've got laying around. I don't know where this came from for me, but I'm gonna use it and it'll work. Now you are gonna need some spray paint, but I've seen where once you spray painted, sometimes it didn't get in those cracks. So I may paint the cracks a little bit before I spray paint it. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna take this little blue clip off of the racetrack, and then I'm going to pull this little hanger off of the lantern base. All right, the next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue my trim onto my track before I hot glue it in the base. I think this could be done before or after. It, I don't think it really matters. But if you've had boys and you're familiar with hot wheel tracks, you know this wide, smooth side is the top of the track. So I'm actually, gluing it on the bottom of the track. I just think that just really adds more texture and it'll look better. All right, and then the base, I'm gonna trim out all four sides with a long piece all the way around. All right, the next step, I'm gonna glue the ends into the diagonal corners and the second piece will just go over to give the lantern look. All right, I just glued where the track made contact with the box. It's very secure. It's not going anywhere. All right, now I'm going to glue my feet on the bottom of the lantern. So I'm just gonna turn it up sideways and just glue them. All right, I got my feet on there. And of course that's strictly optional, but I think anything always looks better elevated. All right, I, like I said earlier, I've seen a variety of tops, but I thought this one really looked the best the little terracotta saucer, and then ping pong ball or whatever you can find. I just really think that gives it the crowning touch. So I'm going to just hot glue it where it's making contact and hot glue that on there. All right, in a matter of just a couple minutes and some hot glue, I have my lantern constructed. Now, just to cut down on so much spray paint because I don't have a full can, I'm going to go ahead and paint some of this, some of the apple barrel red that I have. And I'm also going to take a fine brush and try to get into those cracks red in case the spray paint doesn't get it. It'll just kind of help with coverage. So when I come back to you, I'll have a red lantern. All right, it's been about an hour and uh, my two coats of spray paint are dry. Now I also put on some little felt circles on the feet just to protect whatever I set it on. Now I said earlier with it being red, I can use it several times throughout the year. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you a couple styling ideas for patriotic times and Christmas.
I hope you enjoyed seeing these two seasonal ideas for the Red Lantern. I think it's a lot of fun to see all the different ways this lantern has been created and I hope you like my take on it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days with something fun to share. Bye-bye.